do you foresee an arms race and an interesting one at that, given the weaponization of both finance and energy in this current situation? Uh, because it does seem like an increasingly friendless world, even though the West has come together in this case to back Ukraine. I think the two most extraordinary things that have happened in the last couple of months that affect both Europe and Asia is that two months ago, uh, uh, Chancellor Schultz of Germany announced that he would inject 100 billion euros into the German defense budget and move to the NATO standard 2%. That would make Germany the third biggest defense spender in the world after US and China. And then only a couple of weeks ago, the LDP party in Japan recommended to Prime Minister Kishida uh, that Japan move to the NATO standard of 2% uh, GDP defense expenditure, which would move Japan into third place, pushing Germany into fourth. Who would have imagined? only a year ago, that the third and fourth biggest defense spenders in the world would be Japan and Germany. So that shows what Putin's aggression has done to the international order and to the importance of defense expenditure to ensure national security.